Okay. Hi. I'm going to wait for some people to hop on here. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Tonight's uh, hangout is going to be um, some Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments. Um, I'm working on a garland, so I wanted to kind of get it finished and do a little hangout while I was doing that. So I don't know. Um, I didn't be. I wasn't able to get patterns on this week, um, but I did share. It's just a simple little tree cut out here that I'm doing, and this is a um, a little round that I made for uh, Jack Skellington head, and it looks like this. And I've been decorating the trees. I've been trying to stick with the um, kind of black and white theme on the trees. And I ended up um, painting the eyes on with some enamel paint. And so I need to make one more each to complete the garland. So. Yeah, I know I should, but I'm kind of just chatting because I'm going to put this on, um, I'm also going to share this again and put it on my YouTube. So if, um, people miss it, they can rewatch it hopefully. So, um, yeah. And I'm going to be using tonight. Um, let's see, I have 18 gauge wire. That's what I'm going to use on the tree. And I think that's what I used on the heads. So I'm going to use that. And I got my fluxes. These are the two fluxes that I use if anybody's interested. The gel flux is my favorite. Well, thanks everybody for taking time out um, to hang out with us tonight. Um, I'm going to kind of get going here and my husband is on to answer some questions. If I miss some stuff, it's hard to answer questions and look down and work at the same time. So um, I guess I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to... Let's see, how do I want to do this first? I guess I'll start with the tree first. I almost didn't make it on tonight. I'm a little unorganized right now. Um, so for the tree, for the the uh, trunk, I'm going to use, um, this is just a scrap piece of uh, channel that I had. So I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to cut it down a little bit. It's a good way to use some scrap. And I really don't want to cut any more glass if I don't have to. So that's really it. Just a little flat piece. And I'll solder this on first. So I hope everybody's doing well and getting ready for the holidays. I'm sure everybody's super busy. And this gets hot too, so um, it might be a good idea for the finger guards. And I'm going to point this down a little bit more so that everybody can see. Okay. And... Try to 
keep everything out of the way of the camera here. Now the thing with using the channel is you kind of have to be fast because the solder will melt through it. So I just want to build it up a little bit. And then I'll start with adding some wire work. And the thing with the trees that um, I worry about is uh, the foil pulling away from the glass. That happens a lot of times. So I like adding the wire work because it holds everything together. Um, and I actually hang it from the wire work itself. So it's not just pulling on the foil. And I'm sorry, you guys might hear the cat. He's mad at me because I won't let him in here right now. Camera down a little bit more. Okay. Is that better? Should I go back this way? Probably like that, huh? So I'm kind of going to stick with the same theme here. And I'm going to tack the wire and then I'll add my beads. Kitty's so mad. He's very upset with me. Okay. So we're just going to give it a couple little tacks here. I'm sorry, my finger's probably in the way. Trying to hold it in a way. Let's try this again. I want to make sure it's good and secure. careful pulling on it. Okay, so that's the start. You said more back down. Wait, what is back the camera up and point it down a bit? Okay. So there's that. That's the start of it. And now I'm just going to use, you know, regular little glass seed beads. And I'm going to stick with the black and white. And that's it. We're just going to thread these on here. I think I got these beads at Hobby Lobby. Um, the gloves that I'm using, these are just regular exam gloves, uh, nitrile exam gloves. And these are the beads. And so I don't just have black and white, I kind of have them mixed. So I have to pick through it a little bit.
sometimes it's a little difficult to work with the gloves on when you're doing the beads and stuff but um, my hands don't do good with the chemicals of the flux Um, these are thermal finger guards, and I do sell them on the website. However, I'm trying to find a new supplier because my supplier has stopped selling them. So, um, if you guys know of any that are really good, um, please share because I'm on the, I'm on the hunt for more. I really like these ones, so I'm hoping I can find, uh, these ones again. So yeah, this part is a little bit tedious and takes a little while. This is the time that I like to put on my show or movie or something. And I wanted to ask everybody if um, if they wouldn't mind sharing the video and stuff after I post it. I have a, I mean, I try to boost my posts and stuff, but I can't really share to the groups. They're kind of having, you know, a fit, and I get it. You're not supposed to, you know, share business stuff on there. Um, <laughs> yeah, Unsolved Mysteries is right. That's one of my favorites. Um, so if everybody could please share my stuff, I would so appreciate it. Okay, we're going to call this part good. And then I'm kind of just going to shape it and twist it very carefully so as not to rip that foil. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to hold this like this for now. And it's a little challenging with a uh, carpal tunnel, I have to admit. little bit challenging. This year I've been so slow because the carpal tunnel has been so bad. Okay. So now I'm going to tack it on this side. Um, the wire that I'm using is 18 gauge. Okay, so that's tacked. And then I'm going to just keep going with it. Too much stuff around here. And I rushed so fast tonight, I feel like I was just in a little bit of a tizzy here. I'm just trying to straighten this wire a little bit. Now we'll start our next curly cue. You 
can see I'm a bit of a perfectionist with this. I like to get my wire even. And with this, with putting the beads on, you don't want to, you don't want to make it too, the wire too crimped. You want to keep it kind of straight. Otherwise the beads won't thread on there very well. And I don't know what way I want to go with it. Just getting it right. I think I want it to go more like that. Okay. So on this one, I think I'm going to try to thread these beads on here first. I love incorporating the jewelry and the beads in with my glass works so much fun I was also thinking about um, doing this type of garland in like a blue and white theme with maybe some uh, snowflakes, um, little snowflake uh, hangers and beads. But I really like the Jack Skellington thing, so that's pretty much why I went with it. Definitely is going to need more for sure. It's a good start. I'm sorry, it's so hard to read the questions and comments with the camera pointed down so far. Thank you to my husband for helping out with that. That's better. Oh, you know what I don't like? How it's sticking out on the edge there. Well, it's okay for now. We'll call it good for now. So there it is so far. I know Jack Skellington is very popular, but you could definitely do this and um you know in any theme and i was going to use a uh, ribbon for my garland but um it just it looks better with just the um the chain so that's what that's what i went with i love ribbon so i'm like you know everything looks better with ribbon and it turns out that 
that was not the case. And let's see, how do I want this one to go? Maybe like that, and then I'll make the hanger from that, maybe. So yeah, something like that. So I know that all my other uh, stained glass artist friends out there are super busy this time of year too. Trying to get everything done and ready and making gifts. Let's try and get some some more on here and like I said with the um, the Jack Skellington heads I painted those eyes on and the nose um, I use that testers enamel paint but I know that there's paints out there that you can bake uh, onto your glass if you don't have a kiln um, I do not have a kiln, so I tend to go with the enamel paint. It's always been good for, it's always been good for me. I've never had an issue with it, you know, coming off or anything. And the nice thing is, is that when you, um, when you paint it onto there and you let it dry, you can come back later and fine tune it and, and scrape it off. So it doesn't have to be perfect when it goes on initially. I really like using that and it seems like um, the longer that it sits over time the stronger it, it holds up like I said this is the challenging part with gloves And yeah, um, please go over to my website and check out some of the supplies I have over there. Um, I'm trying to get uh, more supplies to my site, uh, which is another reason that I'm asking everybody to keep sharing my stuff um, so I can continue to get more supplies. I'm going to be offering uh, whiting soon. Um, I use whiting... Um, I don't use polish. I use whiting to clean my pieces after it gets all the residue, the flux and the residue off of it. And I'm going to be offering that soon, but I want to find um, a better whiting brush. Um, I don't know, maybe there's people out there that have uh, suggestions on that. The one that I have is okay. It's, you know, it's, it's not great. Okay, so this should be good. I think it's going to go this way. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm kind of, you know, I do these all, they're never the same. So kind of just figuring out the best placement for it. without losing my beads or burning my fingers. And we'll tack it to that side.
And um, somebody had asked me before if I could do a video on um, making my chains and stuff. I'm definitely going to do a video on that. But um, also, if you guys have any other video suggestions or anything else that you're interested in seeing, please let me know. Um, or something that you want me to try to do or... You know, I'm always up for suggestions and ideas. I'm trying to do this very carefully. Okay. Let's try that. Anyway, I hope this gives you guys some ideas um, what you can do with a simple, you know, piece of glass, a triangle shaped piece of glass. Um, just adding the wire work alone, it totally changes it. I better get this sucker on. And then I like to hang, um, I got some of these Nightmare Before Christmas little jewelry charms that I like to hang on each of the little trees. So much fun. I love using the jewelry charms. And then you can see that you know, we'll be able to hang it from from that one and I'm gonna hang my little charm from here and I'm gonna add a little bit more um, wire work to kind of fill in the little bare spots So I'm just going to keep making uh, twisties. Just little small ones. And like I said, each one I do is different, so it's kind of just as I go along. Hmm. And then you got to try it every which way and see what way looks the best. I also have the wire available um, on my site if anybody's interested in that. The tin copper wire, um, really nice to work with.
we should all probably be listening to Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> Anybody else like that? Now, with the Jack Skellington, the wire doesn't have to be so perfect. It's kind of better if it's not. I don't have to sit there and straighten it all. And somebody let the cat in. Was that you, Bri? Did you let the cat in? <laughs> oh, there's the kitty. It's Kiki. fast on this one's going to be hot. Mm, that wire gets hot. But I don't want a big glob on there either, so I'm not very happy with that. See what happens when you do something you don't like. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll leave that for now. I'll probably have to fix it later, though. That's just me. So our cat's name is Kiki. Actually, it's our daughter's cat. And he is such a sweet little boy. He loves to be around us. And he likes hanging out in the shop and stuff. So I have to keep it extra, extra picked up. And make sure there's no glass shards around. This time I'm going to put my finger guard on. I know it's not a very exciting video tonight, guys. But I would love to know what some of the things that everybody is working on. Like, are you guys working on ornaments too? I'm sure everybody is. Another big seller um, around the holidays is uh, night lights. Everybody likes night lights. So this is what it looks like so far. We're getting there.
And I think just one here and maybe one on that side. And then the tree will be done. Then we can wash it. Hi, Mom. Thanks. I know it's coming out super cute. And the Nightmare Before Christmas is actually pretty old i mean it's been around a while um our daughter used to watch it when she was two so it's definitely been around a while it's a classic for sure So on this bottom one, I kind of want to make sure that I get that bottom uh, piece of foil on here. I want to attach that um, in case the little trunk of the tree gets pulled on or something. I don't want it to separate that foil from the glass. Okay, um, all right. That should be good. Tut. That wire gets super hot. And now that um, that bottom, the foil here, it's attached to this side with the wire, so it won't. I'm not going to be so worried about it pulling on it. And I think I need one more piece on this side. Should I do it? This? Can you see it better like that? So one more little piece of wire, and then this is going to be done. I'll call this one done. See, I don't like that, how it's it looks square like that. you got to fix it so that it's nice and round that and then make adjustments from there yeah and when working with wire this is another thing I wanted to mention when working with wire it's very dangerous um, with your eyes so it's important to wear eye protection, you know, whether you have, um, whether you have glasses or, um, you know, uh, safety glasses, something to protect your eyes. 
the cleaning of this piece, I'm going to use a uh, toothbrush and um, CJ's flux remover, and I'm going to scrub it, and then I'm going to do um, a little bit of vinegar on it. And um, I haven't done the whiting with the beads yet, but I think I might try. Um, just because if I don't, I know that it's going to, it's probably going to oxidize, and I don't want that, so I'm probably going to do on I did the whiting on the heads because I have to paint on them so I haven't done them on the trees yet though I'm gonna try and you know we're gonna scrub it we're not gonna be too you know too gentle on it it's pretty, you know, it's pretty durable. Okay, how does this look? Okay, that looks pretty good. Just like a so. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Be hot hot. I love that sizzle. I don't know if you guys can hear it sizzle every time I touch it with the solder. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to go clean this really quick. Um, and then I will be right back. So you guys can see, I'm literally scrubbing it with a toothbrush. Try and get in there really good. You may have to do this a couple times. I usually wash my pieces more than once. Okay, rinse. that's that one and all I'm gonna have to do um, I have everything ready to attach onto my garland so I think all I have to do is put the little charm on there but it's looking really good cleans up nice um, I'll spray this first That's just vinegar. I'm not going to patina these. Um, just because of the beads, the white beads, I don't know how it would be. 
it might discolor them. I don't really know. Another great thing um, that I have in my shop that I recommend that everybody have besides running water is an air compressor. I have one of those really small air compressors, the, the ones that aren't so noisy. And I have to tell you, it is so nice. Um, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. Okay, so I'm going to put my charm on. And I ordered these charms. I think these ones came off of Amazon. And they're just so perfect little Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas charms. And I have separate tools. Um, I have uh, jewelry tools and wire tools. I keep them separate. The, um, the wire tools tend to get rusty because of the flux. And the jewelry tools I don't use with my flux and stuff like that. And maybe I want him in this little circle here. Let's try that. Oops. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, I can't see up close anymore. I got to take my glasses off. And then the other thing you have to see when you do this is how they're going to lay. Like how the charms are going to sit. Like I think I need another little uh, loop here because I really, I want them to sit more in the front like that. So I think I'm going to add an extra little loop in there. So let's see. I'm not the greatest jewelry maker in the world, um, so trust me, anybody can add jewelry to your stuff. You don't have to be a jewelry maker. I am not. That's my, uh, that's my sister. She's the jewelry maker. I think I have, oh, I do have an extra link here that I can use. It's very tedious work, some of this stuff, but so worth it. Now let's see how he's going to dangle this time. The carpal tunnel. Ah! Oh, another thing you want to watch for when you're making your little trees is um, the edges. You want to make sure you really grind those edges. I noticed. Um, on one of my other trees, the foil ripped, and we don't want that. So I like the way this hangs better. It's still not perfect, but it's better than it was. And that is going to be ready to attach. So he's done. And I'm gonna set this one over here, and then, um, I'm going to get started on Jack Skellington's face. The mouth is wire, and I like to do the mouth with wire because it, it holds the sides together and it will help to prevent it from pulling apart. This I also, um, I also wrapped with hobby cane and um, soldered soldered it to it so and I put the seam for that up here so you don't see any seam along any of the edges it's all up here at the top 
And, um, yeah, so this looks like it's been splattered a little with some patina because I did patina this piece after I add the wire. You're going to patina this piece after you add the wire and um, before you paint the eyes on. You don't want to do that after that, if that makes sense for everybody. And these make perfect little um, ornaments for the tree. They don't have to be for a garland. They're perfect ornament size. And again, I'm going to use um, the 18 gauge wire. And this wire does not have to be straight. That's the beauty of it does not have to be straight at all. You kind of want it a little, you know, crooked and bent a little because that's what he looks like. Yeah, anytime I have um, like an ornament where the edge is just wrapped with foil, um, I like to add wire. I don't trust it. That foil loves to pull away from the edge of the glass. The thing with the um, hobby channel is it's just like a lead channel, so you want to be careful. You don't want to leave your iron on it too long. It'll it'll burn a hole right through it. And then you'll have to take the whole thing off, and that's a big pain. So then for these, we're just going to make his little mouth like this. We're going to attach it like this, and then we'll cut it all down to size. And the nice thing about this is, um, you know, it's pretty fast, so... Um, hopefully it doesn't get too hot and I won't have to put my, my guard back on. Just the teeniest little tack. I would prefer it this way. There we go. That's better. That just felt wrong. Um, these are thermal finger guards. I do sell them. I only have one left in stock. My supplier has stopped selling them, and I'm going to be trying to get more. Um, but yeah, they are super nice. Yeah, the mouth doesn't have to be perfect. His mouth isn't perfect, so this is actually the one time you don't really have to worry about it, which is really weird for me. Oh, see, it got hot. I held it on there too long. Hot, hot, hot. There we go.
And these are um, flush cutters. Super nice. I highly, highly recommend these. Um, I sell these on the website as well. But they're effortless when cutting wire. I mean, literally effortless. I mean, I like the wire cutters that you get in with the jewelry, um, you know, the jewelry tools. But these ones are so nice. Which is why I like to be able to offer them. No, I think I'm going to do one more. I don't know. I'm going to cut them and see. I can always add more. But I think it needs one more on the edge. So then what I do is um, I just go through and, again, be careful when working with wire. Try to angle it away from you. Or shield yourself. Make sure you got eye protection on. Ooh, that was a little short, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so that is what that looks like, and it's nice because now these two sides are connected and cannot be pulled apart. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this off, and then this gets um, uh, patinaed, and um, I use the whiting on it, and then I paint the eyes and it comes out like that and this is the paint I'm probably not going to get into all of that tonight um, but this is the paint that I use to paint the eyes with it's um it's the Tester's Enamel. I think you can get it in Hobby Lobby. Any of the craft stores have it. Um, it's that mod. I think they use it to paint models with. So it works really good. It gets super hard. And the nice thing is when you make a mistake, like if I'm painting this on there and um, I make the mistake, you let it dry and you can come back and I have the, these little wooden picks here, and you come back and you just, you know, you, you pick it off, you, you work it off, and uh, you get it to where you want it, and that's it. Works out really good. So I hope that everybody enjoyed this tonight. I'm sorry it was kind of short and kind of like an impromptu kind of thing. I only gave a day's notice, um, but I really appreciate everybody stopping in and checking out and hanging out um hopefully uh next week i can have something a little bit better uh prepared for everybody a uh, busy time of year um i'm going crazy with cardinals in the shop um so this is kind of a nice little break from that um and i'll be sharing uh you know uh, updates on that as well i have um a cardinal video on my youtube channel if you guys want to check that out, um, how, how I do the stained glass uh, 3D cardinals. So I hope that you guys go over there and check it out. And please don't forget to share this video. And, um, you know, I really appreciate the continued support from everybody. And I hope everybody is having a nice holiday season. And I'll see you guys next week. Good night.